So DP Rigandhi Gashagwa is currently ill and is suffering from intense uh, chest pains. So this is now taking a different uh, route. This is now taking a different uh, turn because you know most of us we are waiting for this moment. We wanted to hear from uh, DP Rigandhi Gashagwa himself how he's going to defend himself, how he's going to uh, uh, to, to ensure that the 11 charges uh, are uh, at the end of it all determined as null and void. So we are waiting for this moment. I believe uh, every Kenyans were waiting for this moment because we want we wanted to know exactly what uh, happened. We wanted to know exactly if this is uh, true or this just a mambo ya kutengenezo hapa na pale. So I'm going through uh, Steve Ogola's post on social media, the lawyer Steve Ogola, and this is what Steve Ogola says. Uh, unfortunately, the Senate must adjourn regardless of what the standing orders provide. Impeachment in absentia is a nullity, especially in the face of medical emergency. So according to Steve Ogola, the Senate should adjourn or kwaluga kawaida should stop uh, this for a moment uh, so according to him or according to what the constitution says you know now we are we are looking at what the the lawyers are saying because they are the ones who are at least have uh, uh, wider knowledge and matters constitution and and uh, matters uh, legal matters so according to him that um, the senate should adjourn this matter and i'm think uh, most people are saying that uh, if the senate uh, proceed to impeach rigadi gashagwa then rigadi gashagwa will have a stronger case to present um, uh, to the court and uh, perhaps uh, he might be the, the courts might uh, save him i don't know what you feel about this whole process you you see the conversation online has been you uh, that regardi gashagwa is going home regardless of uh, his uh, defense there was even a program of how the mashuja day will happen with president william ruto having a new dp i'm sure you've come across uh, all that so with all this happening, with all this conversation, I think uh, DP has decided to take this matter to the court uh, because I know uh, perhaps he believes that the National Assembly and the Senate will not save him. Of course, the National Assembly, they voted him out and perhaps he feels like the Senate will also do that. So maybe he's taking this route to take this matter to the courts because he believes that, you know, with the courts, a lot will be said, people will be given time, they'll be given time to, to present their defense and all that. And maybe there are some things he wanted uh, to, to, to unveil, to reveal before courts and before Kenyans. So I don't know if this is a tactic or indeed... Dipirigadi Gashagwa is sick. Kama is sick, we wish him a quick recovery. He is our deputy president despite his uh, shortcomings and uh, we will not like subject him uh, to, to further torture. You see this, uh, this like you see how the Rigadi Ruto campaign was. Rigidi, Rigadi Gashagwa really went hard, especially what was near. We know how the campaign were and all that. So Rigadi Gashagwa has been uh, defending Ruto in a way that uh, like just an abnormal, uh, uh, it was just on a different level it was just like no this thing we are here and you're my brother and i must defend you remember even during the swearing in uh, the, the 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 statements he made and all that so regarding gashago has been uh, just uh, defending uh, president william ruto it's, he has just been uh, uh, hard uh, on every person who uh, uh, especially the opposition you remember when he said america mitego state house and all that so regarding the Kashagwa, you know this can be a shocker that these that you've been fighting for amekosana na watu wengi from uru kenyata the people from different uh, uh, political um, different politicians so i think is is this matter really uh, I'm sure even if he's not sick, but he's affecting him, having done 
all that he did and to end up just two years in office of course he, i am sure he will fight at uh, till the end and i like it uh, about regarding Kashagwa. many people to, uh, say that he should resign he should resign especially those people are saying that uh, regarding Kashagwa should resign so that he should have um uh, uh, should not be barred from vying in the future I'm asking myself, how far can you? Be? I don't see DP Rigadi Gashagwa uh, uh, becoming a president in this country, and perhaps he knows that that I cannot go beyond this stage. So when you, when you guys are advising that, uh, when guys are saying that Rigadi should uh, resign so that in the future he should go for presidency, perhaps he knows that he cannot uh, uh, get it. He knows. So for him. Is like let me do it this I'm not even uh, planning to to uh, to vie for a president seat in the future so I'm going to Kufa the river Kufa Makanga so it is an intense process we've seen how it is we saw how Mutuse was sweating yesterday this is an intense process not something that we feel like I know we are talking uh, as a uh, Kenya Kamaraya wa kawaida, but this is an intense uh, process. Being impeached is not something that uh, one can take it lightly. It's like losing a job. It is a difficult moment, mentally, socially, and everything. So for Rigadi Gashagwa, one thing I like about him, he has chosen to take this matter to the end. The fact that he has chosen not to resign, I'm giving it a thumbs up. That is the best thing that he ever uh, did, according to me. Even if they are going to take him down, but I like that he is fighting till the end. And uh, this is a good thing. There is a lot that will be unveiled in court. There is a lot that we are going to know. And... I know that the Mount Kenya people also uh, will have to, to know. And I know regarding Gashagwa, despite the end results, regarding Gashagwa has a, still has a, a future in politics. I know come 2027, if he's going to have a political party, then he's going to sweep all seats in Mount Kenya. That is for sure is going to happen. The sympathy that Kenyans are currently giving regarding Gashagwa, we know as much as Kenyans nasemanga sisi nuwabaya, but inside us tunakuanga naka sympathy. You see how Ruto just came from nowhere, is now a president because of the sympathy. And this started in 2013 during Uhuru Ruto, the ICC case, Uruma Ikaingia, Wakajipata sit house. Ruto nae came in in 2017-2022. Ruma nae Ivo. And that is what is going to happen also with uh, DP Rigadi Gashagwa. Because now Kenyans are uh, sympathizing with him. People are feeling that he's being subjected to something that President William Ruto is even worse. If you're saying that DP Rigadi Gashagwa has acquired 5.2 billion within two years. Imagine what these other uh, politicians have acquired, uh, example, President William Ruto. So the people who are impeaching regarding Gashagwa are very corrupt. That one, we agree with that. And this is the reason people are feeling that if they must impeach regarding Gashagwa, they must or both of them go home. Now we are talking about Adani, now we are talking about health, now we are talking, ab we are talking about different issues. And in all these uh, uh, areas, Ruto's name is there. So impeaching Rigadi Kashagwa because of corruption, that is uh, a different discussion. Considering that all these uh, political uh, leaders are very corrupt, they very uh, they have been stealing public resources from uh, way back. So I don't think that is a good ground to impeach Rigadi Kashagwa. So I am going to read some of what Kenyans on social media are saying. Okay, we have this Mwai Kifaki who says that Rigiji, the son of Mau Mau, can't lie. He is a truthful man. If he tells you that he's admitted and you happen to see him elsewhere, just know that you are equally in the same hospital. <laughs> this one is making a joke out of it. Mm -hmm. And then Kunau Sola Messiah who says it is clear that Deputy President was not feeling well. Even in this image shared yesterday, this is a man who has been taking blows from all political quarters. We all know Rigiji is the god. 
wow then we have let me read the last one Kunawi uh, Anajita, the villager 254, says deputy president impeachment proceeding are fraud. The real culprit is Ruto. And then, uh, let me read the last one. Do we have one? Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm um, here seeing uh, Kenyans wishing Rigadi Gashagwa a quick recovery. So, Kuna huyu anajita YH Lino anasema Rigiji the son of Maumau can't lie he is a truthful man if he tells you that he's meted uh, and you happen to see him else just I think I've read that um, so Kenyans are giving their opinions online although uh, in this uh, case our opinions doesn't matter uh, our opinions uh, this uh, uh, this process uh, engages constitution and the standing orders of the senate so our uh, our views uh, doesn't matter at this uh, point so this is it guys so we wait and see what uh, is going to happen next if it is going to the courts that is what we are waiting for i'm one of those people who want to see this matter going to the courts because we want uh, i want we want to know a lot that has been happening for the last two years and i know the court will open all these files all these secrets all these um uh, deals that these people have been making so I want this matter to go to the courts. That is uh, my wish and that is uh, my, 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 my view, my wish. I want to see them fight in the courts. Then from there, we shall settle everything. Thanks for watching. My name is Sophia and this is Sophia Live.